Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. In this video, we're going to walk through the creation of a manual site-to-site -site Unify gateway-based VPN. This guide should apply to any Unify gateway, which is a USG, USG Pro, UDM, or UDM Pro. This setup would apply to any of the USG or U USG Pros that are not managed on the same controller using different sites. If they are on the same controller using different sites, you would want to use the auto IPsec VTI because it's just so much easier. Uh, we can't do that in this case because the two sites that I'm going to create this the VPN between, one of them is a UDM Pro, the other one is a USG Pro, and Unify, for whatever reason, made it so you cannot have multiple sites hosted on the UDM's Pro's controller, and you cannot host the controller for a UDM or UDM Pro on another. We have to do it this way. This would also apply if you, if you're if you have USG or USG Pro that just happen to not be hosted on the same controller. So we would use a manual IPsec on both sides to get to the create a network. You go to the settings, networks, and then create a network. I'll show you here real quick on the UDM side. It looks exactly the same, and we select a site-to-site -site VPN. We're doing this on the old UI instead of the new UI just because I want to make sure that I think it's more reliable to use the old UI for things. Before getting started, you will want to know the public IP address of both of your sites. You get that from the gateway in the devices. So in this case, you would go to devices, select your UDM Pro, and then the IP address is right here. It's a little bit different on a USG. You have to expand the WAN toggle here to get to the public IP address. Let's go back to create our network. It's best to connect to one of the networks locally, and the other one you would either get through unify.ui.com or network.ui.com, depending on whether it's a UDM or USG family of device. So let's get started on the remote side. So we'll say, we'll just name this our UDM Pro Network. Again, site to site VPN, manual IPsec. We we'll want to go through and add all of the subnets that we want to route across the VPN. Note these subnets cannot, you cannot have collision on either side of the network. So to avoid this, when I set this up, I created all of the networks on the side we're on right now, which is the USG in the 10.0.x space, and all of the subnets on the UDM side in the 192.168.x space. So just for simplicity, I'm just going to add one subnet. So I'm going to go ahead and add my subnet now. We're going to start with the peer IP, which in, is always going to be the public IP address of the remote site. And then for the local WAN IP, it's generally going to be the public IP of this site. It's not always going to be that. The scenario where it would not be the public IP of the site is if you have your unified gateway sitting behind a firewall and you're using port forwarding with the IP6 por IPsec ports back to the Unify gateway, in which case you would put the IP address that it thinks is its WAN IP, which is what you would find on the device like we showed earlier. In this case, these my Unify gateways are, are the, the WAN facing firewalls. So I'm going to use the public IP address of the remote site in the pure IP and the public IP address of this site in the local WAN IP. For your pre-shared key, you just want it to be a reasonably complex random string of reasonable length. Uh, I would use a password generator to, to make this. The, only, the, the most important criteria is that it is exactly the same on both sides of the network. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. We can see that we've created our network. Now I'm going to go to the UDM side and do exactly the same thing, just in reverse. So now before I hit save here, I'm just going to show you that I have a persistent ping going to 10.0.1.1, which is the USG Pro. And what should happen when I turn on the uh, VPN here is that it comes online. And so now we can see that we are getting traffic routed over the site-to-site uh, -site VPN. So that's really all there is to it. It's not super complicated. You just have to understand what the, the different IP addresses are and wh where they go, and then just make sure you always use the, uh, the same pre-shared key. 
So I hope you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments or you think I did something wrong, just drop that below and I will uh, respond to it as soon as I can. Thanks.